Autoimmune diseases are when your immune system, which normally defends your body against disease, decides your healthy cells are foreign and attacks those cells. It's been said that over 50 million Americans are affected by an autoimmune disease, and there are as many as 80 different types of these diseases. The common ones are rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, some forms of osteoarthritis, celiac disease, vitiligo, scleroderma, psoriasis and inflammatory bowel diseases such as colitis and Crohn's. To learn about how autoimmune diseases occur in the first place, check the description below for links to Dr. John McDougall's fantastic talks and articles on the subject. It's absolutely fascinating. The current medical treatment for most autoimmune diseases focuses on relieving symptoms because they subscribe to the belief that there's no curative therapy. However, I recently heard a fantastic excerpt from Dr. Michael Greger on this very subject, and here's what he had to say. So autoimmune diseases are inflammatory diseases, and plant foods are not only antioxidant rich, but they're also anti-inflammatory. So eating a whole food plant-based diet has been proven to reverse a variety of inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, um, very effective in combating even osteoarthritis, which has an inflammatory component, um, lupus, which is a horrible um, autoimmune disease. So it hasn't been tested against Sjogren's, it hasn't been tested against a bunch of different autoimmune diseases, but um, based on its effectiveness towards rheumatoid arthritis, and I have a bunch of videos about that, showing these dramatic improvements um, literally within weeks of changing one's diet. In multiple sclerosis, that's also an autoimmune disease where your body attacks your nerves. There's a diet that has been found more effective against MS than any surgical or any drug in history. It's called the Swank Diet, named after a uh, prominent neurologist, uh, Dr. Roy Swank, S-W-A-N-K. It's a plant-based diet, low in saturated fat. They put people on it. And, and, and follow people, not for like three months or three years, but has like, you know, 30-year follow-up. Here's the 50-year follow-up of what happened to these patients. So absolutely remarkable results. The most powerful intervention for multiple sclerosis is diet, but it's not one food, it's not one magic bullet, it's the entire diet. And unfortunately, these studies show that people went off the diet because they felt so much better. All of a sudden, they're out of their wheelchairs, no symptoms, they're cured, now you can eat whatever you want. And then a few years later, they're dead because they went back to the original diet and MS flared up and horrible things happened. Crohn's disease, the most powerful intervention for Crohn's disease. Is it uh, steroids? Is it surgery? No, the most powerful relapse preventing therapy to date in the medical literature is a plant-based diet. So same thing with MS. M MS and Crohn's, the best thing we have is diet. And the reason doctors don't tell people with those conditions to eat healthier is either they don't know, they weren't taught about it, or they patronizingly think, well, my patients won't do it. You know, they're like, oh, there's no, I know my patients, they're not going to eat, they're, they're not going to eat this way, they're not going to change their diet. If you know someone suffering with an autoimmune disease, why not share this video with them? Have you yourself seen an improvement of an autoimmune disease going on a plant-based diet? Leave a comment below sharing your thoughts. Hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. You can find me on Instagram at 801010 in London. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.